Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to be creating a journal page in here, but I realised it'd been a little while since I'd shared a catch up with my altered book and I was also going to share with you my packaging journal now it's covered. So this is my altered book. I've been working quite slowly over the last couple of months on adding slow stitching to lots of pieces of vintage fabric and it's now complete so I've turned it into a kind of slip cover for my book and I'm really happy with that. I've also been creating lots of pages in here. Um, I don't, I've shared them over on Patreon but I haven't been doing much filming with them. I've just been kind of doing them as and when I'm in the mood for it. So that's something I'm still gonna carry on working through throughout the next couple of months. And my last video was creating a journal out of packaging. So I've just added lots of different collage papers on top of here. And I used PVA glue and it seems to be holding up absolutely fine. And I then added some tape, extra tape, just to keep down the classic-y washi tape that I used around the edge. And the only page that I've done so far is my opening page. And so I've just written absolutely no rules because that's the kind of approach I want to take when creating in this journal. And I'm probably gonna have a play around with a, another couple of pages and I've no doubt I'll film a journal with me in here too. And as you can see, I just carried on that collage inside the cover as well. So I'm really happy with that. It's feeling like a lovely, fun journal to get working in. And I just know I just want to take all pressure off in this journal and try out lots of different things. For my journaling today, I'm going to be working inside a standard size Travers notebook insert. I keep it inside this cover from Start Bay Notebooks and the insert that I'm going to be using is Good Ink Pressions brand and it's got Tomo River paper in it. I just, it's a Monday morning here when I'm filming it and I just felt like having a slightly relaxed start to the week, trying to kind of ease myself into things. I'm going to start off my pages as I often do by adding some washi tape down the sides. If I'm ever in doubt and I'm not quite sure what I want to do, I nearly always just get some washi tape on my page and I just feel that it helps to kind of get me started somehow. And both of these washi tapes are from London Gifties. I know Christine's shop is closed at the moment, but I think she's planning on reopening it, hopefully kind of early February-ish. Yeah, this is the way I start nearly all of my journal pages. Particularly if I'm feeling a little bit rusty or uncertain, it just helps me then to feel that I've, it started, I've got something on my page. So I'll just add another strip of that on top as well. And I was in the mood for doing kind of a simple collage cluster. So I've picked out some papers. I've also got this pad here, which has got some different colors in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that one yet, but I'm just gonna start tearing up some pieces, placing them on my page and just seeing what feels right. I don't know about you, but so far this year, I kind of feel that I really need to continue easing myself into it. It's strange, I usually get lots of kind of energy and excitement around the start of the new year, and I definitely have some of that, but I think I'd probably describe it as more of a cautious energy. I think, because you just don't quite know what's gonna happen anymore is how I feel, so I'm just taking it day by day. I've got lots of plans, things that I want to work on this year, but I'm also just 
being a little bit gentle on myself and really just waiting to see how everything goes a bit. But things I have been working on this year so far, um, I've nearly finished my work for my printables for Patreon. In fact, by the time I release this video, hopefully they're already out in the world. Um, I've been doing some filming for a workshop, which is a collaboration with somebody else. And that I may have released a trailer on the workshop at this point on my YouTube channel, or it may be coming very soon. I'm not quite sure yet on the timings of that. And I've got another collaboration workshop to film by the end of January as well. So I've been doing lots and lots of filming, which I really enjoy. It's time consuming, but it's, I usually feel quite relaxed now. It's taken me ages to get to that point, but when I kind of put the camera on, I tend to feel reasonably relaxed now. So it's taken me quite a while to get to that point. But, uh, so yeah, lots going on in January, but just trying to take it a day at a time. I've got so many Skillshare classes in mind at the moment. That's one of the things that's I really want to focus on this year. And I've got so many ideas for different workshops that I want to film and I really want to get out and about, include some sort of outdoor footage in those workshops of kind of where I get inspiration from and that sort of thing. So that's definitely something that I hope to work on over the next couple of months, but it always feels a little bit wait and see at the moment. Check that we're still definitely going to be allowed out and about. It's looking promising, but I hardly dare kind of go there at the moment. So I've just got a really simple cluster of collage elements added there. And I think for the next step, I might add a little bit of stamping. So I've got a couple of stamp sets here. Again, both were from London Gifties, and this one is Ours brand. And I think these are really pretty. They've got lovely kind of tags inside them. I don't know well how, how well this ink's going to take on top of the collage, but as long as there's kind of some ink transfers across then, I'm okay with that. It's just something to add, hopefully some pretty marks and patterns on top. So it's probably gonna be quite a quick video today. I just wanted to say to get some things out. I've got lots on my mind, lots of deadlines and things coming up. And I just thought I want to kind of start with a little bit of relaxation for the week so that I don't just kind of do away any good from a weekend of not working. I don't want to kind of be flat out already by Monday lunchtime. So I'm just adding a little bit of stamping. It's very kind of subtle on there. I think I might then add another stamp over here. Oh, I haven't used this one. So all I'm really trying to do is roughly balance the pages, particularly when I've got a big collaged element on one side, just to make sure I've got some decoration on the other page too. I find it really helps me if I break up the white space a little bit when it comes to journaling and adding my writing, it feels a lot less intimidating. The other thing I wanted to use is this washi tape is absolutely gorgeous. It's a really kind of vintagey style to it. So I wanted to make sure that I added at least one element from here. If I've got space, I'll probably add a second. So I nearly, these large rolls of washi tape, I nearly always use them as stickers. And they become such good value then because they last for ages. I really like that, that's nice and subtle. 
And I think I might add this kind of apple basket up in the top left-hand corner. Still feeling quite wintry here this morning. We woke up to quite a strong frost here. So it's very nippy when we went and walked Barney this morning. But, uh, and I don't mind that at all, but I'm definitely looking forward to some spring days. I've seen that a lot of the bulbs are already starting to come out through the ground and I love it when everything starts coming back into flower again. But for now, I'm tying in my journal pages with kind of that wintry feel. Though sometimes I just add lots of bright splashes of colour. If I feel that I need lots of colour, then I might just... Uh, I think my journal pages for last week in my daily journal, I used almost every colour under the sun because I felt I really needed something bright and vibrant. Okay, so I've got lots of the decoration elements down now. I think I might add some another thin strip of washi tape onto this collage and then I might add a little bit up there as well. A lot of my journal pages don't actually take very long to put together, but just kind of long enough to just relax and put my mind onto something else. Okay, I think that's the decorative elements done. I think what I will now do is perhaps think of a quote that I want to add on this page. For my date and my quote, I'm going to use a Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen with a firm nib. So that's my quotes now added. And because I'm gonna have a space here that I'm not gonna write in, I'm gonna use this page for journaling. I just have another quick look through my stamps and find something to add here. I really like this one with the kind of postage marks on it. It might go slightly off the page, but that's absolutely fine. In fact, I might kind of purposefully off center it. This is one of the things I've, I tend to do with my journal pages is once I've added most of the creative elements, I then add a quote if I want to, either one that I hand letter or stick in, and then just look for kind of any awkwardish bits of space that might need filling in. Okay, so I'm gonna add that there, so it will definitely come off the top. Great, so now I've got that filled in. I'm now going to just go ahead and add my journal writing. And I'm gonna be writing about kind of how I'm trying to take care of myself at the moment and just how I feel with everything that's going on. And for my journal writing, I'm gonna be using this Twisby 580 AL fountain pen from Colt Pens.
that's my journal pages now all completed so really quick and simple that's just what I needed this morning just to get some thoughts out and play around with a few supplies so I really hope you've enjoyed that and certainly helps you to see that even journal pages that look like they've got lots of creative elements on them really don't have to take too much time to put together and I really hope that you're doing well as always, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.